In this module, we are going to configure and manage virtual network in vSphere version 6.5. Hello friends, this is Nick from NOB Solutions and today we are going to continue with the next module which is on the topic of configuring and managing virtual networks in the vSphere 6.5. So in this video we are going to look and try to describe the virtual switch connection types. We are going to configure a standard switch and see um, how we can connect our virtual machines to standard switches and uh, to configure virtual machine uh, port groups as well as the VM kernel port some VLANs and security features included in the standard switches and we are going to look at what's the difference between the distributed switches and the standard switches. So in general we have a lot of hard things to do but uh, let's see if we can make them more simple. So for the purpose of this video I have in front of me my trusty uh, domain controller which I'm going to use for authentication. Uh, on the other hand, I have my storage server, which I'm going to use for storage, uh, the iSCSI storage, and I have uh, powered on my two ESXi hosts alongside with my uh, vCenter server, which and we're going to mostly work on the vCenter to see if we can configure everything from there, which is the recommended action to do. The first thing that I'm going to do is log into my vCenter server with my domain admin account blab.com and while the vCenter is loading I can give you more information about uh, the network uh, configuration and how VMware are, are um, implementing the network uh, connection from the VMs through, through the host to the actual physical network. So they are using virtual switches and most of you should be already familiar with virtual switches but uh, the virtual switches are a layer 2 switches that uh, can be used to connect virtual machines and they are pretty much the same as the physical switches as well but they are used to connect uh, VMs uh, on the same host or on different hosts. Um, the virtual switches also support the VM kernel network uh, which can um, be used to access remote host management, vSphere, vMotion, iSCSI and NFS storages. Uh, so in general the two connection types um, within the uh, VMware vSphere are virtual machine port groups and this is the thing that you will mo most of the time you will use to connect your virtual machines and VM kernel ports. Like I said the VM kernel ports is specific for specific services like IP storage, uh, vSphere vMotion migration, vSphere fault tolerance, vSAN and vSphere replication in general. So and of course the most important thing is the ESXi management network as well. So now that I have my vCenter fully loaded I'm just going to close the license one and um, what you want to do is you want to go to hosts and clusters and click on one of the ESXi hosts go to the configure tab right uh, on the top and uh, scroll to the virtual switches under the networking. So in there you will see that at the moment I have my vSwitch 0 sorry I'm not able to speak correctly this morning I have my vSwitch 0 which if I click on it I will see what are the um, actual connection types that I have within this switch. So at the moment I have one VM kernel port which is for my ESXi management network and I have one um, virtual machine port group which is called VM network and in there I have two connected virtual machines to it. You can see right there the ports that are connected and both the management network and the VM network are connected to a single physical adapter and we are going to try and play around with uh, connecting uh, multiple physical adapters for load balancing and redundancy uh, so we can see how this is done as well. 
So if I want to add another uh, vSwitch to my ESXi01 host, what I need to do is I need to go to the small icon on the left side, add host networking and click in there. And I'll be presented with several options that I can select from. The first one is the VM kernel network uh, adapter, which again uh, is uh, used to um, configure traffic for uh, specific ESXi services uh, that you can see right on the top. You can add a physical network adapter uh, if you want or you can use the virtual machine port group for a standard switch to add a normal uh, port group on another um, or on the same uh, virtual switch that you have. So I'm going to select this option and click next. And um, you can see right there, I have the option to select my old vSwitch uh, zero one, uh, only zero or create a new standard switch, which I'm going to do right now. So if I manage to click this one, except from, from talking, I'm not able to click correctly the, in the morning as well. That's strange, but nevertheless, let's continue. So to create the uh, actual standard switch, I will need a uh, physical network adapter for me to uh, connect to the vSwitch. So I'm going to click on the plus and you can see I have one network adapter that is currently active. Um, I have different options as well, unused adapters that you can, this is the fail, failover order group, but yeah, this is the VM NIC one that I've connected to my ESXi and at the moment this NIC is not used. So I'm going to select that and you can see right on the uh, right side there are options that uh, can be configured in here as well and uh, things that uh, you can you can check to see what um, actually you cannot configure anything but you can see uh, different things for example the configured speed if it's a full or half duplex uh, you can see that uh, yeah what are what are basically the functionality of this network card so i'm going to select that and click next and on the network, um, on the next tab, I have the option to configure the network label. And this is the name that is going to be, um, I'm going to name my uh, virtual switch. Again, I have problems with writing. So I'm just going to copy over something. I'm going to name it test. On the bottom of that, you can see that I have a VLAN tagging. And this is if you configure your, if you want to separate the network and this is the proper way to do it. Most probably you have different uh, VLAN tags on different ports where the actual ESXi are connected. This is where you can uh, basically tag the, um, uh, this, uh, um, this switch so it can tag the actual packets and connect successfully to the uplink port on the physical switch as well for this purpose i'm going to just leave it the way it is and just click finish to create the actual um, virtual switch now that i've um, created the this which one i can click on it and see what is the virtual machine port group uh, right here test there are no virtual machines connected and this is the physical connection to my uh, physical well actually virtual connection to my physical adapter and um, this is another consideration here that you can use if you have a lot of physical adapters what you can do is you can create different uh, virtual switches and uh, that's way that way you can separate the virtual uh, port groups connected to different uh, physical switches so you can separate the network or what you can do is you can just go to the to a single V switch and in there you can create different port groups the way that they are, they are created right now so if I want to add another virtual port group so I'm going to just click in here and select the V switch 0 and I'm going to create this test so it's currently taken, of course. I'm going to rename that. So if I click finish, another port group, a virtual machine port group should appear right here, which is called test one. So 
Instead of making two virtual switches with a single physical adapter, what you can do is you can combine the two physical uh, adapters under a single virtual switch. So that way you will have um, redundancy on the physical level and you can separate the network by using different um, virtual port groups and different VM kernel ports to connect to a single switch. So these are the two considerations that you can um, you can do in your environment. So in order for me to show you how you can configure the actual physical adapters to be on a, on a single virtual switch, I'm just going to delete the vSwitch that I've just created so we can free the physical adapter. Okay, and in here, um, by the way, you can click to select a specific virtual port group. So that way, test one, for example, I'll leave it just for testing purposes. But if I click on edit, I'm going to, I think, be able to add another let me see if I'm going to be able to add another nick to this one. Okay. To so switch zero. And I'm going to assign virtual nick one and finish. So now I have two physical adapters. And this is the thing that you can play around with. For example, I can configure my test one virtual network to be only internal, to have only internal connection. So it's, it will not go outside and uh, I can configure so it can only connect to, um, let me see, I can connect to my virtual machines to this adapter, to this support group, and there will be no active devices enabled. So that way I will have internal connectivity for my virtual machines. For example, I want to isolate this network for testing, let's say, and it will not connect to other uh, or go outside in general. It will be only internal. So only the two virtual machines can see each other. What you can do on the other hand is you can connect only a single adapter. So I want this network to have only to to use only one adapter and the other one can be unused. And this is you can see I have to click on the override so I can configure this. But let's say I want to use only VM NIC zero. OK, so you can see that the connection is uh, explicitly uh, connected to VM NIC zero right now. So these are things that you can do. Um, you can play around with the virtual machine port groups. You can play around with management networks. And we're going to dig a bit deeper into the failover and what are the different options. But for now, this is a consideration for you to see as well and try to configure yourself, play around, see how the connection uh, is done. And uh, that way you will be a bit familiar and you will get uh, to know how the actual networking in VMware works. By default, uh, during the XXI installation, it creates a virtual machine port group named VM Network that you can see right here. And this is the default VM Network that uh, all the virtual machines are connected to. And it creates a management network, which is a VM kernel port. And this is for my, um, to manage my ESXi host. So, um, VMware recommend that you keep separate uh, the management network from the VM network. That way um, you have better security and performance because the VM network traffic will be uh, separate, completely separate from the management network. And if there is a huge load on network traffic, the manage use, you should be still able to connect to your ESXi host. So what I'm going to do and I'm going to show you how you can migrate the actual management network or the actual VM kernel port to another switch. But what I think is going to be best for you and it will be um, less 
likely to make a mistake is to just uh, move the actual VM network, the actual virtual uh, machine port group instead of moving the management network. But nevertheless, I'm going to show you how you can do this. So first, in order for me to create another virtual switch for my management network, I'll have to remove one of my physical cards. Okay. And I will have to create another virtual switch, which I'm going to only select the physical network adapter to be connected to. So this is going to be a new switch. And I'm going to add the virtual NIC. And click finish. So in order for me to migrate the management network, both physical adapters need to be connected to uh, your um, actual environment. So if you have on this physical adapter, on the second one, if it is uh, VLAN tagged for different purpose or if it's in a different network, the actual uh, migration for the management network will fail. So I'm just going to migrate the VM kernel port from the top and select the management network. Click next. For network label, I'll have to rename that to management. Click next. And this is a nice window to see. It's going to analyze the actual impact. If there is an impact for the virtual machines, if there is an impact for the storage, or if you're going to lose connectivity, it says that there will be no impact. So I'm going to click next and finish. Like I said, it's uh, always good to move the uh, virtual machine ports if they're not connected to um, to any virtual machines, of course. But yeah, moving the management can cause unexpected connectivity uh, lost to your ESXi. So yeah, you can see it's the management network, the VM kernel port is connected to my physical adapter, VM NIC1. And at the moment, it's on a separate virtual switch. So uh, now I have the recommended state of the network, um, the, the initial networking setup that is recommended by uh, VMware.